It was just wonderful. We had people coming, as Sue said, from all over the world and uh, stepping on that stage, which is quite impressive after people like uh, Aretha Flank Franklin or Nina Simone or just people that calibre. So it was just absolutely lovely and a privilege. It was extremely well organised. And uh, we had uh, Jonathan Griffiths, who was, who is an extraordinary conductor. No relation, I take it, Sue? Mm. No, mm. I did ask. Yeah. <laughs> just, just checking there. He was quite relieved to find out we weren't. <laughs> uh, we were really, really under some fantastic uh, leadership and it probably was very hard work for him, but we managed. But being on stage with the composer uh, three rows down us was... So, because Carl was watching, Carl wasn't was there, he? Yes. Oh my word! Could you see <laughs> the whites of his eyes, Sue? You could. And what was really amazing was he came to the dress rehearsal, and we suddenly realised he'd never heard his own work sung or performed before. He, how, what? Because he wrote it. We were we were the premiere. we were the very first choir to sing that work. It was commissioned for that performance. And um, it's the first time he heard the orchestra. And so when we were doing the final dress rehearsal, every so often the conductor turned round to check with um, Sir Carl that it was OK and was he happy with the speed and the sound. And no pressure. Yeah, no pressure at all. <laughs> but I have to say it was when we, we were on stage at the end and, and Sir Carl Jenkins got invited up and there was a standing ovation and the hall just erupted um, with applause and oh. it was the most bizarre experience you know when you think you shouldn't really be there and that somebody might just come at some point and say I'm sorry but actually you're not really part of this you get the hook at the side of the stage <laughs> I think just dragging of, you off I think we <laughs> felt a bit like that all the way along really and because you got ushered onto this fabulous huge stage in this beautiful hall and then there's a really professional amazing orchestra with one of the best violinists I've heard in some time and they're playing the sound. We, we'd sung it. I mean, um, our conductor, Julian Power, has been amazing at getting us to the level of, you know, knowing this work because it was an unknown work to him. We had nothing to go off. No one had sung it before. He couldn't hear it sung by anyone else. So he's had to do it from scratch. What a job he did because we got there and we, I think, were the most confident of the singers wow. in the choir. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, so standing there. And then when the orchestra started up and we realised the we'd sung the, the melody but we hadn't and the choral bit we hadn't heard all the amazing orchestration that was going underneath it and it was beautiful what did it feel like Katie when the orchestra actually came on with it it was absolutely incredible and it sounded so different to to how we'd sung it before because it had just been bits and bobs but oh you know it just prickles all down your back it was and the hair stood on and it was just amazing never ever will i experience anything like that again but we did spread the word about the isle of man everywhere we went good did you bring those little tiny flags we didn't need to we even sang at the end of the concert there was a bit of a party and we were in two separate areas and so we took ourselves off to the other area and performed um alan van oh <laughs> lovely did you have an audience they, well they couldn't go anywhere they were all sat around tables yeah. trapped. <laughs> they were trapped we were in the doorway they couldn't get out that no. is beautiful and, and we sang our national anthem as well yeah. 